What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Attack on Titan. Season 4 episode 8 is here today and I'm ready for another showdown between Eren and Reiner. I've told you guys before, Reiner <laughs> just can't fight Eren. He's never won a fight against Eren. Probably in the beginning of the series when they weren't even... We didn't know who was who yet and stuff. Um, he was kind of beating up on Aaron during training. So that's the only time that I can remember. I mean, when he, when he, you know, when um, at the wall, when they fought at the wall, Titan on Titan, Aaron won that fight. If it wasn't for Bert, Bert Holt, you know, Aaron would have probably popped him out of, popped him out of his shell, you know? Um, they fought again, um, in, I think it was season three. Yes, they fought again in season three and Aaron was whooping that ass and he got a lucky hit on, he swung Heron and swung him over. I remember that. Um, but here we go again and it doesn't look like he has a full transformation. Um, you know, because... I mean, other than that, there's also the will to live that Falco mentioned. Like, you gotta have as a Titan Shifter, right? To be able to heal properly or to transform properly, I, I can imagine that as well. Um, there's something according to transforming and all of that stuff that has to do with the will. You have to have a purpose and all of that stuff. Like, we learned that from Aaron's training back, I think, in Season 2. Um, you know... I remember when he was just starting to training and, you know, he couldn't transform. They had him in a well and he couldn't transform. And then, boom, he was outside trying to reach for a damn spoon <laughs> and poof, transform. That shit was crazy. Um, or was that season one? Was it season one? If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was season one. Because I think, yeah, I think that's before, that's when he just met the rest of the scouts, right? Levi's team, before they encountered the female Titan. Yeah, remember and stuff. Anyway, we're going to jump in to this reaction. I want to see what takes place. Um, you know, Hanji came over with the, with the, with the, um, the ship, the airship. So they're trying to pick up everybody. Um, so I don't know what's going to go on in this fight. But, you know, there was something that really troubled me. After I watched the episode over again, you know, by myself. There's something really troubled me about what happened between Levi and the Beast Titan. And I was even talking to one of, the, one of my subscribers about it. That we discussed because he's read the manga. He didn't spoil anything for me or anything like that. I was just saying that that... But he, you know, he was telling me uh, nothing to worry about or whatever. But I'm just saying it just seemed kind of off to me that he said there's not enough time. And then Levi looked at a watch and he's saying that Aaron's not his enemy and all this other stuff. Like it just, it, it just doesn't add up. Z, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't add up. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying that that little part there. But um, whatever. That's just maybe me just being paranoid. It just didn't seem and the quickness of how levi took him down too that was just it just seemed weird um but i guess levi is just a beast like that it just didn't feel as ominous no music he just dropped the bomb um i went back and watched and actually view that scene in the manga actually and they showed levi going away because i was wondering if he blew himself up too um you know but they showed him leaving the scene but they didn't show that in the anime um, so yeah, cause I've been like every, every episode I watch, I go back and I look, you know, maybe something that I've missed or whatever. But anyways, guys, let's go watch the episode. I will see you guys for the review. It, this is nutty, man. This is nutty. This is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't even really want to talk about this because I don't want to come off as, you know, some sort of hater or anything like that. My freaking voice is cracking because I'm like even though Sasha don't get a lot of screen time, she's a OG character, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, um, Sasha was the first one to, to make me laugh in this series, bro, like, laugh out loud, that potato scene with her and dude, old dude, from, I think it's like episode two or three in the series. Like, she was the first one to make me laugh out loud in the series. She's OG, man. Then we learned about their backstory. You know what I'm saying? And, and all of this other stuff. I mean, she's coming far, from far, man. She. How you gonna kill off Sasha, man? Like, kill Flock. Like, nobody wants him around. What is he here for? You know what I'm saying? And I don't know sometimes, you know, authors, they make these decisions because they know that this is going to create shock value. It's going to surprise a lot of people. It's going to be unexpected. And they do it for that, you know what I'm saying, to remind us, really, that nobody is safe in Attack on Titan. And, and I mean, to be honest, you know, we've kind of forgot about that, about Attack on Titan, that nobody is safe is probably going on a good while now since a major i think erin was the last major character to die in the show and that was a few episodes back it wasn't like you know a lot of episodes back it's probably about maybe about 10 i want to say about 10 or so episodes back um that erwin died in uh, at the end of season three um so that's just i don't know what to call it if i would call it the greatest decision they could ever make like i i praise the author for doing it but sasha did she ain't do nothing to nobody man she was just doing her job she was just one of those characters that you know what i'm saying she she off screen enough for you to to love her you know what i'm saying to love her and not really expecting her to be a, a a character to catch a bullet like that you know what i'm saying so it it hurt like <laughs> it hurts bro to talk about this because sasha is i mean i was even talking to to um somebody that you know my friend and you know he <laughs> and it's like i'm i'm like because i saw it from you know i saw it from last week right i saw it from last week when when i watched the preview and i saw the name of the episode is assassin's bullet and i'm like i'm i'm like i don't like the title but i'm like you know if they kill anyone you know what I'm saying? I, Sasha is the last person I expected them to kill off in this series. Like, you know, every season, I think we've lost a major character every season, I would say. No? No, oh, I don't know, major. I'm trying to remember if, if in season two there was any major deaths. I don't think so. In season one, there was a lot of people dying. A lot of people died. You know what I'm saying? Um, season two, I don't remember if there was any major deaths in season two. But season three, definitely we got Irwin. Um, Armin almost died. So, Yeah but let's i don't want to put that aside but let's talk about the other surprising moment i don't even want to mention gabby's name right now because i'm i'm pissed i don't want to mention her name to even start talking about that ridiculousness she's going on with can't even try it. I, I get it you're a kid i get it you know 
even when somebody is trying to give you a logical reason why this all this crap is going on you don't want to accept it because you're just so brainwashed like everybody else you know even though Falco was in that room you know what I'm saying I thought it was gonna stomp them to death in that but anyways as I said so let's talk about Zeke what the hell is going on with Zeke why is he why why is he plotting against his you know this so this whole time as I said during the intro I was telling you guys I just didn't feel okay I watched that episode probably about two or three times and that scene where he said you're running out of time and Levi looks at a watch and I'm like but you could have you could have looked at it and said you know it's because they're waiting on you know Levi's waiting on the airship to pass that's why he was looking at his watch to see when they were gonna pass by just you know what I'm saying but it still does not explain why Zeke said you're running out of time and why he's saying that Aaron is not my enemy but that could be something else too you know what I'm saying but it turns out that is dude has been work this entire thing was <laughs> how they attacked was what how him and Aaron got, had a sit down at some point it seems I mean they did talk about conspirators in Marley but Zeke is the last person and then you have what's her name Zelena whatever her name is that was faking with the beard you know what I'm saying and and, and Gene is fed up he doesn't like what's going on you know what I'm saying he doesn't like it and this is on Aaron Aaron has been going off track this entire time he's like he knows that if he puts himself in a hostage situation which is not really a hostage situation but that's how they describe it they he knows that the scouts would have to come save him because they know he's got the attack titan and the founders titan so if he's gonna attack they gotta be there you know what i'm saying so he forced their hand to come help him because he just left just left and just went out on his own to go live and sleep eat and you know shit with these people and whatever and get to know them i thought this was a sanctioned mission it is not <laughs> a sanctioned mission you know what i'm saying because this whole time i'm like where's everybody else why is it just Aaron? apparently it seems like he just went over there by himself to go do stuff i don't know it seems like him and zeke had some sort of contact and explain things or whatever have their their brotherly talk or whatever it seems like that's what's going on um but levi still want to kill him because he killed Irwin. so levi still wants to end him you know what i'm saying because he, he killed levi's mentor you know what i'm saying like Irwin literally practiced literally saved you know what i'm saying levi's life so that's that's a brother that he lost at the hands of uh, of zeke so i don't think there's gonna be any forgiveness there you know what i'm saying um hey it it seems like it's only aaron that probably had contact with zeke it doesn't see it seems like he was relaying messages somehow with Aaron to the scouts so I don't know how it went down but this it was definitely a surprise to know that he was the one that was there that they were talking to and then um Hanji came out and was like so did everything go according to plan and he's like yeah for the most part except for some complications you know what I'm saying because now you got Gabby and Falco on the train and they can't just drop kids out of the, the freaking airship 
you know what I'm saying, even though she, she just killed Sasha, like, what are you going to do with them, they're going to have to take them back to Powder Dino, and kind of show them, it's like, yo, this is what we've been, we endured, so you can see it for yourself, they came in, they bust the wall down, you know what I'm saying, let Titans in, she wasn't there, so she don't know, she can't have the sentiment that, that Falco has, Falco has a better understanding, because he was there when they were having the conversation, when, when Aaron and Reiner was talking, so he can have a little bit of understanding, or a different perspective from her now, because um, he's heard them talking, and he's like, why would Reiner lie about it, Reiner, you know, saying that he's the reason why Aaron's mom got eaten, he's the reason why everything happened, please kill me, you know what I'm saying, like, those things can, can can really shape a person into or break them out of certain situations that they're in certain type of thinking because you might have believed something this entire time and then you see somebody that you admire like break down like that and admit into stuff like that like you have to take that serious now i, I get it gabby is very hard-headed she you know what i'm saying she lost zofia she lost Udo, whatever his name is, um, I get it, she's hell-bent on getting revenge, I mean, she took out a, a, a major one, she, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, um, I honestly thought they were gonna stomp those two kids to death, like, they came out with the boots on the kids, bro, <laughs> like, they ain't playing no games, you know what I'm saying, because at the same time, like, you just shot Sasha, I don't wanna feel sorry for you, but at the same time, I do feel sorry for you, because you're kids, you don't know any better you know what i'm saying but then you can really look at these kids and be like they're so brainwashed as aliens it's like you know what i'm saying C can't you just just think for yourself man like we we never used to come over here man we never used to come over here we never came here before do you really think that we're just devils over here living a life just you know just decide one day oh we're, we're just gonna come attack you now and just eat your people you, you know what I'm saying, like, come on, man, you, you could at least take two and two together and, li and, and listen to what even Willie had to say, you were there, you heard what Willie said, you know what I'm saying, you heard what Willie said, and he made it out to make it seem like these people are still these demons, and all of this other stuff, even though you heard, you heard that they went on the mission and failed, because Willie talked about it. Willie talked about the mission. That they failed. They only returned with, with. Only the armored titan returned. Right? I mean seriously man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. The excuse is going to be. But your kids. You know what I'm saying? That's always going to be the excuse. And it's a valid excuse. So we can't even argue the point. Um, so this episode was. You know what I'm saying? It was it, it was sad. You know what I mean? Um, a, a character like Sasha, like I don't want to start crying like <laughs> saying like I had to hold back some tears there. You know what I'm saying? Because Sasha is an OG. It was sad to see her go like that. It was very sudden. It was very sudden. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as Connie came through the door, I was like, Yeah, she gone. damn anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man leave a like on the video leave a comment you know what to do subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts i'm out peace